Still, I'm waiting for hubby to have surgery. I got out of the parking garage while I could so I could see um, where I was going and everything. And uh, I'm going to grab a bite to eat. I might walk around the big mall. I uh, might go to a couple Goodwills. Just something to stay in the area and try to be back in the parking garage before dark. His surgery might not take till dark. I'm not real sure. But they've got this great app that like gives me text message updates where he's at, what's going on, stuff like that. So that's helpful. Oh my goodness. This has been a long day, man. Got up at like 5 o'clock this morning. Didn't go to bed till almost 1 o'clock this morning trying to get everything prepped. So, oh, y'all. No. One of the worst things in the world to see when you're visiting a strange place, a massive complex is under construction signs. So, I've got it figured out and down packed now. Oh, but all day, it's it's been hard to get to my car to, to the place I'm supposed to be. Because everything's under construction. There are signs everywhere, but you can't follow the signs because it's under construction. And then, friend, I get it. You're a big bad security guard and everybody has to listen to you. But you ain't got to be an asshole. <laughs> So I started to walk right by a security guard because I knew where I was going now. <laughs> Ma'am, you have to check in with me. Well, okay, friend. You weren't there every other time I've been in here today. So uh, forgive me for not knowing. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> so, of course, I, I promptly went over there, gave him my ID, which is the first time I've had to do that today. And... um checked in with him and then walked away <sighs> seriously you big you bad you in charge we get it we we, we understand but damn <laughs> y'all i'm wore out I, like no sleep and i'm worried about having, i'm it's not like the okay it is a big surgery it's, it's kind of like life altering especially for him i i do get that um, but I'm not, by the way they explained everything, I'm not concerned for his life. It's just that I hope everything goes well. We were, I didn't know this, but he said he understood it beforehand, was that this might not be a one-time deal. He might actually have to do this over again, which I, I didn't hear that part the first time around. You know? And then I also didn't know that they might have to keep him. Apparently it's a 50-50 thing that he may have to stay, but I didn't know that either. I'm so tired. I want it to hurry up, be done, but be perfect. Does that make sense? <laughs> if that makes sense. Waiting is slow. It, it, waiting is, is... Have you ever seen that episode of Supernatural where Crowley turns hell into a waiting line? And then when you get to the front of the line, you just go to the back of the line and wait again? <laughs> he, yeah, they had a pretty good play on that. Um, that waiting... Waiting is the hard part. It's slow. It's tedious. And I, I did fill the time. Got a bite to eat. Hit a Goodwill. I found a Goodwill up here. I didn't know they existed. And that's funny because I thought I'd been to all of them. But I did not know that one was there. Uh, it didn't do much. Got a couple pair of shiny shorts. Because I just needed a couple pair of lounge shorts. And those struck my attention. I'll have to show them to you later. And I got a thing to put some laundry in. So it was not a bad deal. It looks brand new. So i just back to waiting. Back to waiting. And like I said, they got this great app. It really is great. It like gives you updates. So you don't have to call. You don't have to go in. You don't have to ask nobody anything. But it's still waiting because yeah, I haven't had an update in like three hours. And they, they said, you know, it could take two, three, four hours. Maybe even longer. It just depends on, you know, the depth of everything and all that. But. Waiting as hell. Being in a strange place under construction with signs you can't follow is hell. Hey, it turns out, though, literally from my car to where my husband's at is not even as far as the bathroom at work. So that's not really a problem. It was simply the, the, the act of figuring out how to get there over and over. I really didn't have to go in too many times, but I had to use bathroom and stuff. And I don't really want to sit in the waiting room. I don't like being in there because I have allergies. 
And if you have allergies, you got to cough, you got to sneeze, you got sniffles, you got to wear a mask, and everybody's looking at you like you have the plague. I really don't want to sit in there. And that's all I got for now. <laughs> my complaints. Um, I guess I can show you a couple pictures because my husband posted them online. This is him after the very first part of everything. And, and you really can't see anything. They got it bandaged and all that. So, but he was in good spirits at that time. We had, he had a fantastic doctor and nurse. Let me tell you something. That first set, let's see if I can find their name. Dr. Williford in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. If you have this particular issue or skin cancer and need it removed, I would recommend that, that man. He is fantastic. These people were like the most helpful people in the entire world. Like, oh, okay, well, let me tell you how to get there. They, they acted like there was no such thing as GPS. They was going to tell you word for word the best way to do it. And, and they were just so sweet, polite, kind, understanding, very heartfelt. You could tell he actually went into this business because he cares about people. That's rare. And it's an older man, too. And what I'm saying by that, what I mean by that, is a lot of times when you go into something, you're young, you're excited, and you you really, really mean it, and you feel it in your heart of hearts. But after a while, you like, get in, get out, leave me alone. Um, I think that's with any job, even if even the most well-meaning position, uh, jaded, tired, just beat down, burnt out. But he was not. I mean, he was like fresh-faced and beautiful and ready to roar, man. I don't know how old he was, but he definitely acted like GPS was not a thing. Him and his nurse, I loved her. Do you need a hot blanket? I'm going to get you one too. No, don't you worry. Well, let me get you a fresh hot blanket. I was so pleased with that because it was cold in there. Ooh, it was cold in there. But, you know, she was, she was hooking him up and, and then she was like hooking me up. She said, I'd bring you something to eat, but they won't let me. I was like, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Um, but they were amazing. So if you have this particular issue and you're in North Carolina, Dr. Williford and his nurse, amazing, fantastic people. All right, hopefully. Well, this doctor that, that he's seeing now, Dr. Downs, is the uh, the facial reconstruction surgeon. He's fantastic, too. Um, so far, to be honest with you, I always almost have a complaint of some sort with somebody. These doctors here, no. Okay, the security guard, yes. But <laughs> the doctors and nurses today, they have all been fantastic. Uh, my husband, I don't know if that's an anesthesiologist or... A male nurse um, I'm not sure what he what he role he plays but he sounds just like um, Norm Macdonald uh, the comedian that passed away recently he sounds just like him he's got that mask on I'm like I recognize your voice how do I know your voice and I realized what who he sounded like I was like dude <laughs> I ain't say anything to him because I don't know if he knows who it is or if he likes him or any of that so I was just like you sound just like him dude um, but anyway I'm going to shut up for a minute. I'm going to sit here and play phone games. That's what I have to do. So as you can see, I look super, super tired because I am. I'm so tired and I have an appointment for myself tomorrow. Hubby's surgery went well. Um, it, we left the house like at 6 a.m. We got up at 5. We left at 6 Um the surgery ended, we got home around 8, maybe a little after p.m. It looks really bad. It looks extremely painful. Hi. And um, apparently it's the way it's supposed to look there, but it does look. What are you doing back there? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, per box. Come on. Come on. Thank you. You know what the cat behind my head. She slaps at my hair. <laughs> But anyway, it's late and tired. I'm tired. I didn't really do much with keto as far as the weigh-in and all that because I forgot this morning I was rushing around trying to get everything ready and out the door, making sure I had the right addresses. I didn't even think about stepping on the scale at all this morning, but I imagine I'm still in the 164 range. Man, I hurried up and waited all day. That's pretty much what I did was just waited all day. Um... But that's very tiring. So, guys, this is just a quick update. I, I'm going to go to bed. And hopefully I'll have a much bigger and better one tomorrow. Much love. Many prayers. Make your next little keto.